Hello again, everyone. It's Jenny re-rebooting. I am on day four of a 30-day reboot with Joe Cross, inspired by Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And as you can see, right behind me, the movie is playing because nothing inspires me to keep on going more than this film. <laughs> I think if Joe can do it and if Phil Staples can do it, anyone can do this. So if you followed the videos up till this point, I did one through 13 of the 15 day reboot a couple of weeks ago. And I stopped for two reasons. I knew I had to plan it around social events on the calendar and I had a whole weekend of social events coming up. So I planned to do 13 days in total. So here are a few things I learned from those 13 days. You do gain energy, you gain vibrance, your skin begins to glow, all that is fantastic. And you lose weight. I lost a pound a day, so 13 pounds in total. Well, probably 12 and a half, but you know, give or take a pound or two. I did that cleanse the 13 days with so much focus and so much energy. And if you see in the videos, there are days when I have tons of energy and there's days when I'm really, really tired. And it's, it's been the same this time around as well. Uh, however, a few things I learned. When you come out of a reboot, follow Joe's book. <laughs> I just bought it the other day because he's coming to my city for a book signing. So I'm bringing an entourage to go meet him and uh, get my book signed. I'm excited about that. But in the book, what I didn't realize is that there are certain steps to take when you come out of the reboot so that you can climatize your body to regular food again. I didn't do that. I went from juicing, juicing, juicing to a big party where it was hors d'oeuvres and canapes and martinis and all these wonderful things that are not so wonderful on your stomach after straight juicing. <laughs> so yes, I felt really, really sick. Not really sick. I just felt an upset stomach for a couple of days. So what I did was after a big party, um, I started to go right back into juicing every day and I did have about five days a break in between the first reboot and the one that I'm doing now. I had wanted to originally do 30 days straight through, but this was, this was the schedule I had. So got back into it and then after a few days of really feeling eager to start up again, I did. So today, day four, I'm drinking this is my favorite thing of the entire reboot. And this is the Island Green Smoothie. It's on day four and I'm so happy for this day because I love this. It's frozen mango or fresh with ice cubes. It's avocado, banana, some coconut water, and what else? Oh, a handful of spinach. That's what gives it its green color and the avocado. This tastes so good. I can't stop drinking it. Anyway, so restarting the reboot has been good for me, but it's posed a whole different set of challenges. In the first reboot, I noticed that I never was tempted to cheat. I really wasn't. I was that focused. I know the movie in the background is being distracting to me now. <laughs> it, I was that focused that I just never, ever wanted to cheat. I just was so determined to make this a successful reboot. This time around, I am tempted to cheat a lot. And I am craving things that are very strange. I'm craving a bag of sour cream and onion chips so badly. And I've laughed about it, I've joked about it, I've talked to people about it, and it's a real craving. <laughs> so thankfully, that is not in my house. Right now, it's just all about the juicing. So day five, Tomorrow is my last day of the soups and smoothies, and then I'm going to be straight juicing then for 25 days. So this is going to be interesting, and I will record every three days just to keep everyone posted. I find it does help me to know that um, I'm accountable, even if it's just one person that's watching <laughs> the video, at least I'm accountable. And I find that that has been the downfall for me in the whole dieting cycle, 
is that I'll lose five pounds and then I'll be so excited and so proud of myself for losing five pounds, I'll go and celebrate by eating a piece of chocolate cake or something ridiculous. Makes no sense, but if you're a sugarholic like I am, it makes total sense. That just is what you do. And so you gain the weight right back. So it's been a yo-yo like that for a long time. <sighs> so gaining focus again is what I'm doing today. It's been a hard three days, unlike the first reboot, which I just seem to sail through. This has been a little tougher mentally. So I'm watching the movie again, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. I am reading Joe's book. Thank you, Joe, for writing such a great volume of, well, education and information and inspiration. And I'm also just refocusing my mind to not think about food so much. And it is, it's all up here. So meditation, that's very, very key and mindfulness. So I'm working on that. And today is a great day because it's my favorite soups. Uh, the carrot or the squash and apple soup, there's some carrots in there as well, is absolutely delicious. This is something I will incorporate into my diet for years to come, along with the island green smoothie as well and several of the other soups. The green detox soup is on the program today and I'm excited about that too. It's very good and it, you certainly feel the effects of detoxing and running to the bathroom. So my uh, three-day reflection on the re-reboot, going strong for 30 days is my goal. So here I go and I'm sure there'll be other challenges along the way, but right now I'm starting to see the weight coming off again. Uh, when I took the five day break, I did put two pounds back on. I fully expected that. I actually thought it would be worse. <laughs> so putting two pounds back on, um, that came off right away after the first day of getting back into the reboot. So I'm trying to just stay focused and excited because once you see the results, it, there's nothing that's more exciting than to step on the scale in the morning and you've lost another pound and you know that it's because you're feeding your body. You're not starving your body. I'm feeding my body these micronutrients. I feel good. I'm excited to talk about it, although I don't talk about it to everybody because <laughs> it could be thought of as a little crazy, but you know what? The results will speak for themselves and I'm just going to keep going, keep focused and uh, press on. And in three weeks, I will personally be able to meet Joe, shake his hand and thank him for his inspiration. And uh, that in itself will give me new inspiration and new focus to keep going. So days one through three are over, pressing on into day four. And uh, cheers to everyone else who's doing this. Keep on going and keep juicing.